Hey, my name is Alex and today we're going to look through a few drills that help to build the front vault. The front vault in MoveNet is also known as the Kong vault in parkour. And you can start building this technique working on the ground without the danger of working on an obstacle. So instead of having to do this at an elevated level, you can start on any surface that you want, whatever it is. A front vault basically involves transferring your weight to your hands and then bringing your legs in between your arms and the ground to get through to the other side. This can be to get over or onto an obstacle or in this case to get in between the limited space of the ground and your arms. You can put your hands flat down for this so that your palms are completely flat legs through but you can also get up onto the balls of your hands so just here on the underside of your knuckles and that will give you a few extra inches to bring your legs through allowing you to feed yourself through with a little bit more control now I recommend that you use the flat hands if that is available to you even if it's not pretty especially if that one's not pretty and the up on the knuckles feels nice for me this one feels easy I'll get a lot more benefit as far as challenging my mobility and core strength by putting my hands flat and requiring me to tighten myself up a little bit more, even if it doesn't feel quite as nice. So good to be able to have access to both, but once you're just starting to get the ability to do this, being able to go on the underside of your knuckles gives you a little bit extra so you can actually build the capability to do this movement or challenging yourself further. So the first thing we're gonna do, the first drill we're gonna do with this is just transferring our weight to our hands and back. So you can reach down with your hands and as you're reaching down with your hands, you can drop your heels and drop your hips back, bring your hands down and then rock onto your hands. So from your deep knee bend, you're reaching forward as you drop back into a squat, deep squat and then forward into a foot hand position. Reaching back, hands down, into your foot hand position. And you can try shifting more weight to the hands so that more, at least a good 80% of your weight is on your hands and most of your weight is off your feet. Because the next thing we're gonna do is get our feet completely off the ground. So reaching and just hopping the feet up. Just staying in place, this is still a stationary exercise. And what we want to consider here, one of the most common inefficiencies, is letting your elbows fan out like this. Boy, you do this. The problem, that it might feel like you've got more space to get your legs through, the problem is, first of all, that lowers the space that you have between here and here. If your arm is straight versus bent, with your elbow out, you're gonna have more space to feed your legs through. And the more important reason is that if you're over in this kind of position, you're really muscling it. You're really using your arm and shoulder muscles to stabilize your arm and make this movement happen. Whereas if you're bringing your elbows under, pointing your knee pits forward, you're able to use the structural integrity of your bone alignment to hold yourself in this position. So you don't have to muscle it quite so much, a little bit more stamina, a little less draining on your energy. So, landing the legs come up off the ground, hopping back and forth between the hands and the feet. This is a body weight transfer drill, and you're trying to make sure your arms aren't fanning out like this, and that you're keeping them, keeping the elbows and knees kind of pointing at each other. Okay, the next step is to get this into a bit of a locomotion. So you start moving, but this is a locomotion, it's also kind of 50% of an actual front vault. So you can reach your hands forward, bring your feet a little bit closer. So wherever my feet are, after they hop off the ground, they're gonna land closer to my hands than they were before. So my hands go, when my hands come off, they go forward farther than they were. When my feet come off the ground, they go closer to my hands than they were. My hands go farther from my feet, feet go closer to my hands. Turn around. And down, feet up, hands down, hands down, and feet up. And you 
make it into that locomotive pattern. And if you're actually going to turn this into the front fall on the ground, all you do is continue that pendulum instead of landing your feet closer to your hands, try and get it into uh, an L-sit position or um, basically a basically a uh, straight leg sit. So bringing your hands down, feeding it through, putting your feet down on the ground like that. Just regular straight leg sit position. So bringing the arms down and trying to get the feet through to sit down. You can get back to your other position, whatever way you want. You can go on the flats of your hands. Might be easier to elevate the heel of your palm a little bit. And the next step is, instead of sitting on your butt, let your feet be what lands down on the ground. And then you're transitioning into an inverted crawl back up to your deep bend. So for that variation, we're reaching the hands out, bringing the legs through, coming up to a deep bend. And again, if it's accessible to you, and you want to challenge your mobility a little bit more, you can do this with flat palms. It's not going to look as pretty. It's going to challenge you a little bit more. So again, this final step, if you break it down into move nat turns, you're starting in a deep knee bend, you're reaching forward, counterbalancing into a forward reaching deep squat, shifting your weight to a knee hand crawl, and then swinging the legs through for a front ball. Getting into an inverted crawl, pushing yourself back up into your deep knee bend. And then you can repeat it all over again. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.